Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports and Baseball-Yips.com. Hey, does you have a coach that wants to change your mechanics because he or she sees you throwing uh, without accuracy in games? Well, in this video, you're going to learn why changing mechanics often isn't the solution to overcoming the yips cycle. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So whenever I'm working with ball players on the throwing yips and overcoming the throwing yips, they always tell me, well, a coach is working with me or a parent is working with me on my mechanics and it's really not helping me. So ultimately going to the mechanics is really not what you want to do and actually can confuse you even more in the yip cycle. Well, why? In the video, uh, in my last video uh, where I talked about my philosophy about the yip cycle and how you have to break the yip cycle, I talked about how players tend to go to a physical fix. They go to what's more concrete for them. So that means when a coach comes up and say, hey, your mechanics look wrong, well, your mechanics look wrong because you were tight, you were tense, you were fearful, you were over controlling it. Not because your mechanics are wrong, it's because your head was wrong or your mental game was wrong and that changes the mechanics. So ball players will go then and start tinkering and start fixing and asking coaches and teammates what they think they should do. But that's only going to confuse you more because then you're going to be focusing more on your technique and more on your mechanics. And as I said in my last video um, on this topic, that you'll go to over control and overthinking. And that's part of what keeps you stuck in the yip cycle. So one of the things you have to do is don't look at it as a mechanical problem. All ball players know how to throw from a very young age. Now, if you're learning a new pitch, Certainly that's a whole different thing altogether. Um, if you're learning a slider or a curveball or something like that, certainly that's going to require a little bit different mechanics. But I'm talking about just your normal throw to first base or your normal throw down to second base if you play catcher or if you're, you're a shortstop and you're throwing to first base, for example. Um, changing mechanics will not help you overcome the yips because it's not a mechanical problem. So what do you need to do then? What you need to do is go back to simplicity, go back to your typical throw, your normal throw, and stick with those mechanics. What you really need to do to break the yip cycle are two things. You have to start throwing with freedom. In other words, throwing intuitively or instinctively in games and trusting your mechanics. But in order to do that, you have to get beyond the fear, beyond the fear of failure, beyond the fear of embarrassment, beyond the fear of disappointing a coach or a scout that may be watching you, for example. So if you want to learn more about this, please jump over to my website at baseball-yips.com. There you can download a free report titled Eight Mental Strategies for Breaking the Yips Cycle. And please subscribe to my videos while you're here so you'll be notified when I have more videos like this one available. Thanks. Hey, please subscribe to my videos using the button on the upper hand right of this video. In addition, we have two related mental training videos for you to watch. And please jump over to my website at baseball-yips.com and download my free report, Eight Mental Game Strategies to Break the Yip Cycle.